everybody. Hi guys, how are you out in BTC land? Everybody, I'm Mary Rector. I'm the founder of BehindTheChair.com. Hi, I haven't seen you guys for a while. And I am Hello. incredibly excited about what we're gonna do today. And you guys probably know this gentleman here, Mr. Barquez, who's the Global Creative Director of Sassoon Academy Worldwide. And then Miss Debbie Webster, who is the Global CEO for Sassoon Academy Worldwide. So welcome you guys. I'm so excited about what we have to share. and. How are you doing, Mark, in the in the UK? And Deb, how's it out in Los Angeles? I'll let Debbie go first. <laughs> so, so yeah, in Los Angeles, obviously, we just got the news yesterday that we could reopen, so we're doing good out here. Um, yes. So, yeah, super excited and really excited to be on here with you today, Mary. And you know, the the partnership that we're going to launch today, we're we're really excited about. Yeah, we are too. We are too. How are you doing out there, Mark? I know that you guys have had some big lockdowns. Well, yes, we are not open, <laughs> unfortunately, and we're in the middle of snow in London, which is kind of pretty, but uh, yeah. So it's, it's, you know, it's difficult times right now, but we're doing everything we can really to make what is a pretty horrific situation into a positive situation as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's been obviously difficult here. And uh, the thing that I'm really excited about, and we're gonna jump into it here in just a second, is um, is about the partnership that, that we've been talking about. And Debbie and I have been, Mark, you and I have known each other for a very long time. And obviously knew Vidal very well as well, which I always laugh because he was the, he was the biggest disruptor in our industry ever in history. People always say, Mary, you're such a disruptor. I always go back and think about Vidal being really the biggest disruptor from taking, you know, ladies who were, you know, washing set to cutting. And when you think about it, and now here we are 60 years later and, um, and what he started, um, Mark, you and your team have uh, continued, um, you know, to provide the most extraordinary and exceptional education in the world. And it all started from, um, you know, going back and, and the cutting theory and so forth. And, um, and Debbie, I know that um, for you, this has been an amazing journey for you as well. And um, one of the things that, that we've been talking a lot about is, is education right now, right? Because of the lockdowns, because of what's happening across the world, I don't think there's ever been a time that's been more important to educate yourself and to get re-inspired than it is today. What do you guys want to no. take that? Yeah, I mean, I think really, I think, you know, Vidal's, Vidal always said that his greatest legacy was education. You know, if he was going to be remembered for anything, he's, you know, he always said that the, the education, uh, that, that's what he wanted his legacy to be. And I think what he did was he democratized hair, didn't he, really? I mean, he, he changed hair in such a way that it would never work, never be worked with or look the same again. And, and today the brand has taken that look, if you like, and turned it into a method that can be taught and learned and used. In, a, in an everyday situation. So in a very real way, I kind of feel that the methods that Sassoon pioneered 65 years ago, in some ways are more relevant today than they ever have been because nobody's got more time now than they had five years ago, have they? You know, nobody's more, you know, everyone's time poor. No one goes into a salon and says, you know, I want a, hair, I want a hairstyle that's really complicated. I want something that's really difficult, really difficult to do and takes ages to, you know, no one wants that. Everyone wants functionality. And I think, you know, the Sassoon method is all about functionality. So I think, you know, in a very real way, it's the key to a successful career in hair, if you, if yeah. you like. Yeah. I think for me, knowing that um, obviously working with Sassoon Academy for 20, I mean, 20 years, we actually remember when Behind the Care first started, we actually worked with you guys yeah. exclusively on, um, we sold uh, a lot of your DVDs, your collections, ABC, et cetera. And the one thing that I've been thinking about over these um, last several years is just that the level of education um, and also the level of educator. And I think that that is something that is is really exciting. Um, and I, what I want to talk about is let's go through because here's what we, we're going to do, you guys. First of all, we're going to announce our partnership. So we're going to walk you through what that's all about. And uh, we know that a lot of you guys are really excited about it. So we're going to walk you through the partnership. And then Mark is going to walk us through 
um, several of the looks over the years, and then also how what we're about to announce is so relevant as we move forward. So um, I guess I'm I'm going to take it away. Debbie and I have uh, been talking probably for a year, right? Debbie, thinking yeah. about what yeah. could we after the pandemic started, what could we do to help support hairdressers? And you know how much I've I've always you know loved the education and um, and tried to I guess for our members get my hands on some of your education um, in a way that was going to be affordable for everyone too. So we'll go ahead and go through the slides. But VTC University and Behind the Chair is incredibly proud to present a partnership between VTC University and Sassoon Academy, and it really is especially for all of you. Um, for decades, uh, Mark, Debbie. Sassoon and Academy and Behind the Chair have been entirely committed to the education of hairdressers. And, and I want to say to all hairdressers, because everybody, we, everybody belongs here. Like, so no matter who it is, no matter whether you're, you know, making minimum wage and you're, you're trying to learn or you're making a thousand dollars a haircut and you're in New York City, or at least you used to be in New York City, um, everybody wants to learn. Everybody wants to have a better life. And so Behind the Chair has always been very inclusive to that. But our goal right now is to make extraordinary education affordable during these really difficult times so that every hairdresser in the world will be able to experience the very best on-demand uh, technical education no matter where you live. So the big announcement is, is that we are so pleased to share that, um, that Behind the Chair um, has an exclusive relationship with Sassoon where we will now be offering all of the ABC Cut, ABC Color, and ABC Men, which is 36 videos all free as a part of the existing BTC member subscription. And that is for us so, we're so excited about this because um, as I've said, you know, Sassoon took great, uh, took good hairdressers and you guys have made them great hairdressers, but it really all started from the fundamentals. It always started from the ABCs. So Debbie or Mark, can you guys just talk about this a little bit because I feel like one of the things that we have been missing over the last several years is that we have been missing that return to fundamentals. We have been missing that ed that that educator that's been that educator for 25 years and learned to teach as well. Can you walk us through what, where did ABC come from? How many people have been educated by it? And uh, we're gonna um, obviously take a look at, at it in just a couple of minutes on the site, but can you walk us through why it was created? Um, well, I think primarily it was done, ABC was created out of 65 years of being in the industry, 65 years of developing a method of working with hair. It was a look that became a method. And, and I think what we wanted to do was to systemize it so that it could be taught in, uh, in uh, at lots of different levels. That's, that's the kind of beautiful thing about it as well. It operates as a very beginner system. It can also operate as a kind of refresher system for experienced hairdressers. And it, it, it crosses across all boundaries. So cut in ladies, cut in men's, and also the very disciplined world and very lucrative world of coloring. And what we tried to do was to break every single technique down. And we sort of thought that when you walk down any civilized street in any city in the world, you will be able to see hairstyles being worn by people that can be traced back to these original techniques any, anywhere that you, that you want to go. And so we try, what, we, what we did was to take all of that, that kind of knowledge that we had and put it into a very simple system that not only teaches the classics in isolation, you know, lines in ladies, lines, graduation, layering, in Heather, color, the total. Sorry? Heather, can we go back to the slide so, so he can explain what he's talking about? Yeah. Um, so, so, the, so here we have the ladies system. And as you can see, it's, it's broken up into lines, graduation, and layering. But then as you work, so as you work vertically, lines, graduation, layering, A, B, and C. And then as you work horizontally across those lines, you have lines with graduation then lines with layers, and then lines with graduation and layers, and the same with graduation, the same with layers. So it kind of builds a whole matrix, if you like, of looks that interrelate. So it's not just about learning 
12 techniques. It's not that. It's much, much more than that. It's how to combine techniques. Because as we all know, every haircut that you could possibly do on a person is a combination of different things. It's never just one thing. So and that's I think kind of... Yeah, and sorry, I was yeah. going to say, one of the issues that I feel like that we are, that we, when we step away and we look at, like, I want to learn this one haircut, Sassoon has never been, Sassoon is about teaching you the fundamentals so you can create any haircut versus exactly. just one look. Can you talk about that a little bit? Because um, yeah. I think that's really important for everybody to sort of understand that in, until you have the fundamentals, you, you, you can just only cut a bob or this, but once you get them, you know, you begin to understand the theory and fundamentals behind those cuts. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think if you, if you take modern hairdressing, I think modern shape of the face, although that's important too. And I think in learning the fundamental techniques, in learning the classics, you it it creates the rules of freedom. You know, lots of people think of Sassoon as like a rules brand, like you know they do. You know, they they're very kind of systemized, but it's not like it is like that, but it's only like that to allow you to create anything you, you want. You know, that's, that's the idea. Once you've learned the classic principles, the classic discipline of how to control hair, how to manipulate hair, how to essentially how to make hair do what you want it to do. Once you've learned that, you're then free to create any kind of hairstyle you want, long, short, geometric, whatever, whatever it is using those three techniques in combination so it's a sort of it's in and of itself it's a learning system but it's a system that allows you to break out of that system to create whatever your imagination can actually come up with um and i'm so excited about this because for all of you salon owners out there whether you're a sweet renter whether you're a salon owner this is like such a great opportunity for all of you to be able to take advantage of this kind of learning and actually use it as some of your salon education. Debbie, if you could just share with us a little bit, one of the things that we were talking about as well as just your academies and um, and your students going through academies, what has changed about the student? Well, I suppose I could ask either one of you, tell us a little bit about the academies and then also maybe the way that you guys are changing thought process around learning. Yeah, I mean, I think the pandemic gave us an opportunity to look at things differently. You know, we were getting ready to launch our online platform anyway, and suddenly the, the pandemic put us into warp speed to get it out there. And I think we've realized that one of the things with Sassoon, I think there's always been this myth around Sassoon that maybe, you know, that, that it's not for everyone. And I think one of the, the brilliant things about lockdown is the fact that we've been able to get out there. We did a six week online course to give back to the hairdressing community. Mm -hmm. And the response was phenomenal. People seeing Mark in his home working, you know, we were doing five days a week live courses from Mark's living room, <laughs> from Tracy, from Richie, you know, and I think it, it, it took away that, you know, it, it made us approachable. It made people see that Sassoon is for everyone. And I think, you know, for us, what we've been able to do inside of our online platform is now we can offer not only our in-person classes at the schools when they reopen, but we can now offer everything that we teach at the academies, we can now teach online. And so we've been offering bespoke classes, whatever it is that the, the learner wants to, to do, we're able to create those courses. So for us, it's been, you know, we, we've taken what was a, a really difficult time and turned it into a great opportunity to be able to share what we do with so many more people that in the past couldn't maybe come to the school, but now they have access to our, our classes uh, virtually. So yeah, it's been a really, really interesting time for us. Well, and I think mm. one of the things I'm excited about to have um, ABC as a part of our um, BTC member subscription, and here's the cool thing, you guys, there's no additional charge for it. So this is, we're making this free as part of that subscription. And I guess, if you will, it's sort of like the idea of Netflix, right? Our goal is to try to, you know, um, to, to provide um, all this learning from all of these different educators that also have, come up, have also democratized hair and been able to create different techniques. But the thing that I'm really, and we have, I think over 90 videos um, prior to having Sassoon on, but we are very excited about having now this fundamental education that becomes part of this. So not only do you get that opportunity to see the newest technique and the newest educator that you've been following um, on or 
um, that you've been following on Instagram, but now you have this incredible, like I see this as this um, really great anchor for us. And I'm so excited about that because, you know, if we're going to have an anchor, we need the best anchor. And um, knowing that 20 years ago when, when, uh, when this first came out, um, we sold I, hundreds of thousands of dollars of this DVD set, which was three DVDs all together. And um, so what we've really tried to do, again, like I said, similar to Netflix, is be able to offer a huge amount of education. Um, and prior to the, um, or right after the pandemic happened, we decided to put it into a subscription, which we hadn't done, and it's less than a dollar a day. So now, so now so soon, um, Academy will be part of that as well. One of the things I'm also really excited about is Mark and his team will be joining us once a month as well to be able to do some um, everything from uh, from live cutting, live color, also just to sit down and do some coffee chats and talk about some history and talk about what trends are coming forward. And I've noticed, Mark, that some of your uh, uh, most recent collections are like really incredibly, um, it, not only is it um, is it wearable? It's just, there's, they're always chic. I mean, there's system collections are always, they're so chic because they're, they're so, um, it's so elevated. But one of the things that I'm, I'm really loving is the cuts that you're doing now, the color are, um, there's just something to it that keeps that system chic, but it's also really wearable. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I, I think again, it comes back to, the idea that we hold the most dear at Sassoon now. And, and this is, to be honest, you've hit upon something there that we've worked on quite diligently, probably for the last 10 years or so, is that whatever you do with hair, the most important thing about it is the person who's going to be wearing it. Yeah. Now, now that's not to say that you can't create something new and interesting. That's not to say that you can't take a client or a model or whatever on a journey with their hair. It's not to say that you just do what the client asks for at all. But what it, the, the sort of thought process we have now is that a haircut or color or and both color is a collaboration between you and the wearer. It's not, you know, and when, and when that works really beautifully is when you have that, <clears throat> excuse me, that magic kind of moment, if you like. So I think our collections now are very much about that collaborate or a visual manifestation if you like of that collaboration so if you've got someone who is slightly more avant-garde with the way they look then we'll do you know a haircut that suits that if we have someone who wants to be more classic but the important thing is is that they're equally as creative because yeah. i define creativity as an original idea that has value and in a hair cutting terms that means a haircut and color that suits someone. Yeah. Both physically and spiritually, you know. So I think all of the collections we do now are based of whatever they end up being, whatever the story is or whatever the the shapes and colors, et cetera, are, are based on that premise. Are based on that premise. And I think that's that runs through into our education. You know, even though we have obviously, you know, through you guys. We now have the opportunity to share the fund, the kind of the, the cornerstone, if you like, of our education. The thing that underpins everything else. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else really works unless you've got this. Um, it, you know that kind of makes everything happen, and then from there, you can then develop it into salon creative work or something yeah. slightly more avant-garde. You know, but it's but it's these things that make everything else happen yeah which is the most important and I, and I think one of the things that we, we we never really mention actually is that this training program this ABC methodology isn't something we've invented for the market this is actually how we train our teams yeah this is the training I, I went through albeit a long while ago <laughs> <laughs> but a version of it it was written in script when I did it. It was kind of more, yeah, it was written in old English. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So it's, so it's a training program that's real. Do you know what I mean? It's not an invented thing yeah. to kind of put out there. It's, it's authentic. I love the fact, Heather, why don't you go to the site and let's take a look at a couple of the, uh, the trailers and stuff too, so we can show people how to get there. One of the things that I think though is like really cool is like, it, it's, it's almost like the alphabet. That's what I love about the fact that it is ABC mm. is because 
you can't write without the ABCs. You know, you can't actually write a book. You can't write a message. You can't write an email unless you know how to spell and or in your language. Um, so what I think is, is cool. So this is, so go back to the top, Heather, if you would, please. Um, so if you go to uh, btcuniversity.com, you're going to see on the top uh, that there's a subscription in red, and you're going to see on that bottom that it says Sassoon Academy specifically. So in fact, it's right on the homepage now because we're just announcing it. And so um, we're proud to present, and then this is the actual landing page or the homepage for Sassoon. So if you want to see everything that is Sassoon related, this is the place that you're going to want to go. But again, um, this is part of our BTCU subscription that we were just talking about, that you can subscribe for a year or you can subscribe on a monthly basis. And what you can see here is the ABCs. And then if you click into any one of those, let's go ahead and click into one. And everything is all set up. Let's go to the first one that or the okay, here we go. Then you're going to see that there will be a trailer here for you. Click on to it. You'll be able to see the trailer and all the information around that, which is great. And then we're explaining to you about that particular cut and what part of the ABC cutting collection. So if you go back up, I think we're also placing the head sheet PDFs in here as well for you guys, too. So we're very excited, but the, one of the coolest things about this is that this comes, each of these with Sassoon come in six different languages. So, um, and I think that is somewhere on that video. I'm not sure exactly where it is to find it, Heather. I'm not sure if you know, but I know that they're, they come, it's somewhere in there. We'll find it and share it with you guys in a little while. Um, and so if you go back, you can start the course. And then the course is here. And again, you'll have access uh, to this course as many times as you want to watch it, all 36 of them. So here it is. And then um, the same thing goes if you want to pop back out of this, Heather. So again, you just go to btcuniversity.com. And as you uh, scroll back to the Sassoon page, there it is. Now it's next to. Again, you can see that everything um, is here. So as you scroll down, ABC cut. And then... Uh, on there's a carousel here so you can see all 12 and then you can scroll a little bit faster and then you'll see color is down here as well and then um, men's so the everything all 36 of these are only available as part of the subscription so our goal is to again this is our our really our anchor of fundamental education and uh, we, we could not be any more excited and for all all of you guys that are already um, uh, BTCU member subscribers, guess what? This just showed up inside your inbox, and now you guys have access to all 36 of these videos for your training. Um, and again, one of the things that we're really excited about is uh, now that we've done this, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of training with Mark and his team um, as the months go on, so we're super excited about that. And to that point, Mark, um, do you want to talk a little bit about the next slides that you have? Because I think it'd be really cool uh, when you put together this history of uh, of Sassoon and how yeah. they, and how these ABCs, I love this, how the ABCs actually show you all these different haircuts. Well, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. How long? How long? You, how long have I got? I've got we ten minutes or so. As much time as we want. So. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Well, okay. well I, I mean, I think you know, obviously, as we've said, sixty-five years of Sassoon. La last year was our sixty-fifth anniversary, so it's kind of pretty cool that we've we've started this. This venture with you, Mary, you know, at this time. So 65 years, the first Sassoon Salon was opened in 1954 in Bond Street in London. And I think essentially the technique, talking about the hair specifically, the techniques were developed in a very specific order in response to what was going on at the time. Obviously, here you can see, you know, on the left, 1960, 1969. The, the hair then, you know, there was a very geometric look, the fashion was very based around this kind of new modernism in a way. Fashion was changing, society was changing, and the hair was designed to reflect to that. So it was very much, much more about the line. It was about the demarcation between the skin and the hair. So lots of geometry, lots of geometric lines cut against the skin. Then as we moved into the 70s, there started to be a new mood in hair obviously in a response to the way people started to look in the early part of the 70s, people started to grow their hair. The idea of longer hair became super fashionable. So in a sense, you know, Sassoon responded to that with haircuts like the veil and the mouche and the layered haircuts, what we now know as the, as the shag or the mullet or the coupe sauvage or wherever you're from, you'll have a different, different name for it. 
But um, layered hair became super, super cool. So that was, the, in a sense, the second wave of the geometric softening. And then as we moved into the 80s, obviously the 80s was a hugely experimental time. Yeah. The 80s was, you know, on the back of punk, really, which was a big shake up of everything. Um, it's scary to think it's over over 40 years ago, punk. I nearly fell over when I thought about that the other day. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was it, it, you know, in a sense, the 80s was the ending, ending of the perm and the movement into the colour explosion, you know, literally. Colour exploded onto the scene in a very powerful way. And the 90s kind of continued that theme. And, in, you know, sort of grunge at the beginning of the 90s almost kind of killed everything, killed everything off. Um, but then we saw, really, what we saw then was a kind of a combination of different street styles. You know, that became a huge story. And the idea of a kind of melting pot, if you like, of looks in the 90s became the way to be. So it was like the supermarket of style, in a way, that, the way that Ted Polhemus um, described it. And then when we moved into the zeros or the noughties, whatever you want to call it, again, using... I think then we really started to hit our stride in the sense of, okay, so we've got these, we've had this kind of, you know, 40 year legacy, 50 year legacy. Now, what do we kind of do with it? And we really decided that it was about the collaboration. It was about using classic techniques in new and interesting ways to come up with new ways to wear hair. So obviously lines, graduation, layering, and then disconnection, and pointing and freehand techniques and all of that stuff all kind of comes together as a complete method, if you like, to create the look that define the Sassoon brand today. And then if, if we go to the next little set of images, I think I kind of, what I thought was interesting here was, you know, legacy is something that we hear a lot, of, lot about in fashion, it, you know, it, in every, everything at the moment, it seems that everyone's fascinated with kind of looking at the past to inform the future. So I just put this together. You know, here we have, you know, the bob. I mean, most people think, oh, you know, the bob, what relevance has it got today? Well, you can see here, everyone from Bella Hadid all the way through, you know, to, to all, the, all these kind of celebrities wear this, wear this look in different ways. And I think that's why the bob has this kind of timeless appeal because it has, you can kind of pretty much make it work for anybody. Center part, side part, bleached, dark, naturally wavy. And then if we go to the next, the next image in the, in the movie world as well, you know, it's been portrayed in so many different ways. Amelie, top left, obviously Pulp Fiction, Uma Thurman, bottom right. Um, and then if we go to the next one, somebody, you know, the, I, th I think when brands want something to say, chic and confident and independent invariably they turn to the bob you know two of the biggest names in the industry Yves Saint Laurent and Chanel turn to um to these two young ladies to portray their brand with little bobbed versions of the bob haircut so it really does permeate everywhere and it all comes from this kind of line this this modern line that um that Vidal created and, and nobody nowhere more famous I suppose than Anna Wintour. And the interesting thing here is that I read recently that Anna Wintour, as a young 14-year-old girl, was taken to Mary Quant's show in London wow. and cut her hair off because of, that, because of that show that she saw, which I thought was amazing. So she was inspired by Vidal as well, which was great. Um, and then if we, if we go to the next, next slide, so here you can see, so on the right, obviously, the, the Nancy Quant haircut cut by Vidal, photographed by Terence Donovan. And then in 2021, our new version of that, you know, more layered, slightly different, but essentially, essentially the same balance, the same geometry, the same dynamic of shape, but just done with a, a, a slightly more, you know, kind of contemporary sensibility. Um, and then the box bob, you know, the, the box bob was, was first created in mid seventies during that time where the seventies had that kind of slightly 20s kind of feeling to it, you know, movies like The Boyfriend and Bieber and all that sort of stuff. But this was about when I joined Sassoon in, in the mid 70s. And then here we've got the, the, the navy blue, the um, Kandinsky inspired blue version for 2021. 
Um, and then the next image is, um, is the second discipline, if you like, graduation. And graduation was developed in the sort of mid 70s with the Firefly and the Wedge and all those kind of incredible haircuts. And this, I thought this was kind of cool. You know, if you learn how to do a, a really beautiful Firefly or a classic technique called round graduation, which is in the, the B series, you can create these haircuts. You know, these have all got that short, boyish kind of quality to them. And without the, without the understanding of these techniques, those, te those previous looks are out of reach. But once you've got this under your belt, you know, the wedge in the center, obviously, and then either side versions of the Firefly, they help you to create those modern contemporary versions of that, that hairstyle. And so going um, to ABC, so this is, which was so brilliant to do it that way, this is the, um, when you go back to that, that was the A, B, and C. So this was the B section of it in terms of the graduation. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So I just wanted to illustrate that these, yeah. what, what I'm trying to do here is illustrate that they're not, the techniques that we use, because they were developed, you know, over 65 years, they've been developed and refined over 65 years. I don't want people to have the misconception that they're kind of old fashioned and they don't have any relevance to now. You know, I think that's the, that's the kind of thing that people think, oh, you know, I may have learned that in beauty school or I don't need to do that, you know, because I've, I've done that. But really, hair is changing so quickly each, each season or each, each year. And the nuances that people want or that you're, you're able to create if you learn these techniques and relearn them and continually update them means that you'll always be contemporary. You'll always be modern in terms of the way you work. So if we flip forward a couple, so that's, yeah, so that, so essentially that's where they come from. This is how we interpret those graduated looks now. So over the last four years or so, we, we do different versions of that technique. These are in our salon collections. These, these we develop, we, we develop collections for salons and academies. So that, that is, these looks here are, are completely born out of that graduated series because they have that essential graduated look. And then obviously on the left, the masterpiece that Vidal regarded as his, as his finest piece of work, the five point haircut, yeah. um, unsurpassed. And I think with something like that, you, it, it, was, it was so obviously 60s because of the style of the photograph, but essentially it supersedes the time in which it was created because it's, it's so beautiful and so pure in the design. And then on the right, a version that to be honest happened this kind of you know we cut this haircut and all of a sudden it fell into this shape and we were like oh my goodness it's like the modern five point it's kind oh. of quite crazy um and then and then c layers um is the next one so again you know this <clears throat> this, this i think was was a moment that that vidal came into the public consciousness with his haircut on the actress mia farrow for the film rosemary's baby in 1967 and how many versions of the of what's now known as the pixie cut have there been since then? I mean, literally thousands. Every every kind of actress and model and and rock star, su superstar have, have had this haircut. If we go to the next um, next slide, um, so all these kind of little short gamine, everyone from Linda Evangelista to Rihanna, you know, everyone's in the Emma Watson have had. Have it, and every every time they do it, they're asked how they feel, and they say, "Oh my God, it's so liberating." You know, cutting my hair is so liberating. I agree. And I think, you know, exactly. Yeah. I mean, your, you know, your new short haircut is so yeah. cool. It took me like forever, and I, I remember telling hairdressers years ago, I really think I want short hair, and they're like, no, that's not right for you. And I, I remember when it, it did, when I did uh, get it cut off, like, and and I, it was, I honestly, I felt like for the first time, like that was me, and that yeah. was such a crazy thing what hair does because. I'm not, that's not me really as a person to say something like that, but I felt more boyish, which I, I don't feel glamorous like a girl. I actually feel strong, I guess in a sense, sometimes like a boy. And so mm. I felt not only liberating, but it just felt strong, you know, and yeah. I, love, I love having short hair. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and, and what's good, what's nice as well, I think, is, is cutting hair short without it being aggressive or you know hard looking because it because there's a fine line you know there's a fine line between doing something that 
that has an essential femininity, if I can use that word, mm -hmm. but an essential suitability for that person. And I think, again, the, the way that we layer hair in a, in, at this length, you have to have a sensitivity and an empathy to the person. You know, I think that's the key oh, part. Yeah. Very easy to just bone the hair off and take it down to, to nothing, but much more difficult, as you can see in this center image here. Amazing. You know, um, that gentle sort of softness on the edge, still short, I mean, it's short, but it's not aggressive in any way and it's not hard. You know, you get that nice blend between hair, skin and hair together, then skin. You know, it's, it's so it's kind of tact, it has a nice tactile quality about it. And um, and that's just literally done with classic technique. All of those they've done with classic technique and then coloring. Obviously, I don't color hair. We specialize at Sassoon, but I just put this slide in because because I think it very visually and we're all, you know, hairdressers are visual people, aren't they? You know, they they understand visuals and in the center, the firefly, um, the, the start of everything that we now call shape and balance where cut and color work together to, to enhance the dynamic of a shape. And this is in our combination series, two-tone tinting and tint and slices where you learn how to not just color hair, but color hair to affect shape. Okay. And then on the either side of the classic firefly, different applications of that two tone method of that, you know, darker underneath. So the so the color recedes and blonde on the top. So it becomes more prominent, directly accentuates the shape of the hair. And every all of this stuff, all of this kind of theoretical stuff is contained is contained within ABC as well, along with, you know, classic highlighting and bleaching and toning, which let's face it, Sassoon are very renowned for. Yeah, you know, whenever we do those, um, whenever we do those um, shows, we always get if if you're given a theme, Sassoon, bless them, the colorists always end up with the give Sassoon the bleach and tone thing because they know how to do it. Um, you know, so 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 it's all it's cut all that's in there. And then with men, um, you know, again, men's hair is a very specific discipline, and men probably the biggest growth area in our industry over the last twenty five years, probably. Um, and what we tried to do with men's was to to really look at, ha again, how they interrelate. So we started with short hair, including scissors and clippers and all, all that kind of stuff, and then move into hair that's maybe, you know, kind of more conventional, but super important, you know, layers and graduation, how they work in phases on the haircut. We've got a very particular way of working with men's hair that's that's quite distinct from ladies hair they're not just kind of you know they don't they don't blend together they're distinct disciplines and then with c um we we work more with with layered hair so kind of more mullety more looser and and looser external lines so either cut in a heavy edge or kind of looser or more frayed so so the three disciplines exist in complete isolation from each other and inside each discipline they kind of they blend together to form a matrix of learning which is essentially that it's the fundamental of everything we do it's the basis of everything we do so we're super excited to share it heather can you go back to the actual site itself um to behind the chair i mean to btc university i want to ask um mark a couple questions about um about actually the learning part of this. So if you can just take Oh my God, you're not going to give me a test, are you? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, but, give me one second. I'm loading it up. Oh, thank you. I want to ask, so for everybody that's out there, because we have, as I said, several thousand uh, BTCU member subscribers already. Um, and so, and we look forward to seeing a lot more of you guys. One of my questions is, um, is, if you go back, and I know she's loading it, and we're going to go back to BTCU, is there a specific? So let's say that this is the very first time that I get to experience this suit. You know, I've, I haven't been able to afford it. It's not been in my city. It's you know, any of that, right? I, did, I didn't get taught this in beauty school. Where would you start? Would you start with cutting? Would you, like, if you said, I want to really get my team in the salon really excited about, you know, um, Sassoon cutting or Sassoon color or men's, like, is there somewhere that you can say, let's start here because this is relevant right now? Or do you have to start 
at AA? Do you have to start somewhere specific? Well, go ahead and just stay with uh, cutting here for a second. Hmm, that's a very good question. I would, I would personally, I would say that that's a really good question. Actually, let go me back. just think for a minute. Yeah, go back up. I, I think, I think, for me personally, I think this, this is the way we do it. Put it this way: what we do with our assistants is that we start them on classic training and we, but we don't keep them on one discipline. We, it's almost like, a, like an art school. You do a foundation course and you take lots of different things to learn, you know, and then you decide what you're going to specialize in. So in a way, what we do is we, we, we teach them lines, graduation, layering in, them, in their simplest form. We teach them total, partial and combination color. And we teach them men's hairdressing in, in the three disciplines in A, B and C as well so they do all of that all of those classic techniques and they would do them without necessarily trying to and i want this to, to sound right without trying to get super super specialized into them at that point just so they've got an experience of what hair is what it does when you do different things to it and then once they've kind of done those then they can really go into each part of it and really specialize and learn it in more depth if you like so i would say kind of try don't don't bog yourself down in one area try sort of work across them all okay you know and then and then once you've kind of got a feel for it because it is it is a very definite way of working with hair you know it's a, it is a very a very specific series designed to allow you to do everything, but it's a very specific way of working with her. So I think experience it all, and then go back and start to specialize in the different areas, I would say. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's like anything, isn't it? If you, if you, if you start learning something, and you, and you kind of think, oh, you know, cutting a line is super hard. You know, Debbie was a hairdresser, you know, before she became the head of Sassoon, she was a head, so she knows how difficult, you know, that one, like, everyone knows how difficult that is. And if you kind of drive yourself crazy with it over and over and over again, you're like, I'm never going to get this right. I certainly went through that. I'm never going to be able to do it. So Great. learn it all and then come back. And, and a card, kind of off on. card years ago, sorry, I didn't mean to create a card years ago. Like we had this amazing illustrator on staff where this woman started like with long hair and then they cut a line. It was like this whole series in this card, cut a line and then next cut a line and then another one. And it just was never straight. And she ended up with, <laughs> Almost no yeah. hair. The hair just yeah. was so hard to cut it straight. That can happen. Yeah, there were. it was just the funniest illustrations. I'm sure we still have it somewhere. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's. I was looking at uh, at that one um, shot that was next to the firefly on the right hand side, and all I was thinking about that particular shot when you were talking about it is if you don't cut a perfectly straight, you know, or I should say, perfectly rounded cut straight line on that. I mean that the oh, color. Yeah on it you know you're like you know you're, and you, guys, you're sunk. you guys never work with wigs right am i wrong or you don't work with wigs um well not for this no no, no not no. for this but generally do you work with a lot of wigs or no for stage i know i mean i know that you cut a lot of a lot of real hair yeah i mean to be honest that's i think that's what people want to see to soon do. I mean, we do do that sort of stuff yeah. when it's required for for a particular effect. We we yeah. recently did to celebrate the 65th anniversary. We, we recently did an event where we went through from the 60s right the way through to now, and we we changed wigs like I mean it was quite manic. So we used like you know five point wigs and stuff like that. But you still got to cut them, and, and cutting a wig sometimes is actually harder than cutting a real person. But but no, I I think. When Sassoon do a show, whatever it is, people like to see what we can do with hair, with our hands. Do you know what I mean? Because we, we specialize in cutting and coloring. We don't particularly dress, you know, we're not particularly known for dressing hair, although we can do that. It's not what people want to see from us, I, I don't believe. I agree. And I, and I think it's interesting, when, when we do hair shows, and I've seen this happen, Normally, if you're doing a, 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 a show, it's normally, you know, you can do all the funny kind of, you know, eccentric kind of pieces and this, that and the other and bright colors. But it's normally that 
beautiful line with a fringe that everyone goes, wow, look at that. That's amazing. In the because, audience, right? Or the phones yeah. go up, right? The phones go up, you know? Yeah, They're because, getting... and the reason for that, I think because hairdressers, because consumers look at it and think, wow, you know, the hair looks so beautiful and it moves so lovely and it looks so thick and healthy and all that. You know, they love it. And hairdressers love it because they know how hard it is to do. You know, they just go, wow, look at that. And you do it in like 20 minutes or something, you know, or half an hour or something like that. And you come off stage and collapse. <laughs> and think, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I think there's something, and you said earlier, you know, there's something amazing about the, the dramatic change you can affect on someone by cutting their hair. And I, I always say that, you know, I've, you know, I've been in the industry 40 odd years now. But still the nicest thing is when you cut someone's hair and they, you know, at the end of it, they say, you know, thanks, I love it. But still, you know, applause and all that sort of stuff is great and everything else. But it's still the loveliest feeling when you cut someone's hair and they go, wow, you know, thanks, it's amazing, I love it. Um, and if you could, and you, know, and you can only do that, you know, Vidal, as always, put it best when he said that without, without technique, one cannot attain mastery of form. So, you know, if you can't, if you don't have that technique in your in your hand, you're always going to be struggling to create something. You're, the hair is going to get away from you, if you know what I mean. That's so why I think, I'm so excited about this um, relationship because mm. I just, you know, I've known ABC. Obviously, I've known Sassoon forever, and I've known ABC and and the power that ABC had when it was coming out. And Debbie, you guys, I mean, one of the things that I think was really great is that you have also allowed beauty schools now to actually be able to take that curriculum for their yeah. students as well. And I think what a huge, I'm sure that Vidal would have been so thrilled about that in so many ways, you know, because it's just more students being able to learn the Vidal Sassoon way. But um, that, that's been a really exciting uh, change, I'm sure, for all the schools as well um, to be able to get access to this curriculum. Yeah, absolutely. We've launched what's called Sassoon Connect, and it is a full curriculum. And we've had, again, such great response from it. And I think one of the really good things that we've been able to do from that program is develop a teacher training module as well. Because yeah. I think teachers, you know, and again, during this pandemic, one of the things that we're going to be doing is offering some complimentary teacher training to all the schools out there. You know, use the time to really help to elevate the industry. And I think when, you know, listening to what you were both talking about, when you think about Sassoon, you think about precision. I mean, every haircut you see that we that we do, it's always about the precision, but that all comes from the fundamentals. And I think sometimes people forget that. You know, again, they think, oh, that's classics. I've already learned that. But once you've mastered mm -hmm. that, then you can have that precision in anything that you do. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. most proud about is the fact that we can now offer this globally to everyone through you, through our platforms too. Um, I think it's definitely gonna be a, a game changer. I think it, mm -hmm. it is, and even if you've learned the fundamentals somewhere else, you haven't learned the Sassoon fundamentals. And I think exactly. there's such a big difference. And I, again, you know, we talk about discipline, right? And Mark, there's no, you know, between you and your whole team, it's always so interesting to hear about the level of discipline that your team has and going back and listening to stories about Vidal, you know, there's so many of them. Vidal, obviously everybody knew him in the days of, you know, of being so kind and warm and generous. And every time I was with Vidal, the way that he would touch somebody's arm, he would always compliment them. He rarely complimented hair, but when he did, wow, did he mean it? That was such a huge deal. Uh, but he always just looked right at them and always put his attention on them and not looking for the most important person in the room because of course he always was the most important person in the room. <laughs> he didn't see it like that. But I think what's interesting is don't don't mistake that for a man that during the time that he was managing, the stories I've heard about his incredible exceptionalism and his exceptional, you know, like that you had to be, perfection was it. Like you had to be, you know, your shoes had to be shined. You're, you had to be, everything had to be right, you know, even yeah. like the coat thrown over. I mean, I've just heard so many stories and you've I'm sure lived through all of those, but between he and, and Annie and so forth, you guys have maintained that level of discipline um, for all of these years, you know, in his name and in your names. And 
that's, I think, the thing that I am really excited about bringing to behind the chair because for the hairdressers that are out there that don't know, they know Sassoon, they know the name, they know how powerful it is, but they've never experienced the education of it. And that's what I think mm -hmm. is I'm really excited about them being also educated by educators who have, um, you know, learned a system of teaching for decades and not, not, there are so many hairdressers that haven't been able to experience that. And I think that's, I'm sort of giddy about that because, um, you know, you guys, you know, have made this available. And I just want to say thank you to everybody in the Sassoon organization. Um, this is such a huge deal for hairdressers to be able to, uh, this is so affordable. It's less than a dollar a day. And now your salon can experience it. And again, um, once they have that chance to experience this education, I know that they'll be so excited then to also take classes at your academies online. And so for to really get that, that individualized learning as well. And um, it's yeah. just, it's it's very it's very exciting um, for us, and it's I guess it's only because I, I've I've known what ABC has done for the last twenty years, and I'm I'm so excited to be able to to see hairdressers have that opportunity again through the platforms. Thank you. We, I mean, we're excited to share it. I think I think one of I mean the, the last thing I suppose are we are we finished? Are we done? <laughs> are we got to go now? It's nice talking to you. I know, but, it's fine. But, it's um, fine. You know, I think yes. You know, sometimes people, as Debbie alluded to earlier, sometimes people sort of think, oh, my God, you know, so soon it's so serious. It's so, you know, it's kind of so intense. I really, I don't think I could put myself through it in a way. They're kind of terrified of it. But, yeah. and yes, the standards and the discipline and all of that stuff is absolutely still there now. But having lived through it for, you know, as I say, for 40, 40 years, there's a lot of fun in it if you know what I mean. You know, yes, you know, and the first day I walked through the door at Sassoon as an assistant, I, I was struck by A, how amazing it was, B, how exciting and dynamic and interesting all the people were and how much fun they were having. And, and hang on a second, I've kind of walked into this place by accident and they're all having a great time. And then, but then with the hair, with the work, it was super, super serious. So there was that kind of balance, you know, they, they had a fantastic time doing it, but what they did really, really seriously. We, we sit that behind the chair. We don't take our, we, you know, we take our work really seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think no, exactly. as hard as we, you know, we, if you asked any of my 30, I don't know what we have, 33 full-time team members at behind the chair um, that are all over the country now because of the pandemic, um, you know, they'll, every one of them will tell you the two mottos and good is the enemy of great. And the other one is who do we do it for? We do it for hairdressers. And, and then we just do like this question of the week. We just started doing. And my question of the week last week was if good is the enemy of great, if you take it 10% more beyond great and you go to exceptional, why does that 10%, um, uh, have a, a 40 to 50% return for the extra 10%? And that was a tough question, I think, for everybody. We're just, I'm just getting the answers all back from them right now. But why is it a disproportionate? So you give 10%, but you get 40% back. Why is that disproportionate? Yeah. The story that I used was um, when I was flying American Airlines and United Airlines in Chicago, um, both of them were the same. They flew to the same places. They had the same prices. But United Airlines decided to serve Starbucks coffee 20 years ago. And that one single decision to just go just a little bit above and to surprise and delight ended up giving them hundreds of thousands of dollars of business for me and my, you know, my company. So I think that we, if we think about how we can surprise and delight and go 10% above everybody else, the level of, you know, retaining our customers, the level of, and that the level of all of those things for that little extra 10% gives you back so much more because Absolutely. you're beyond what everybody else is willing to do. And I think that's so true in your education as well. Like you yeah. have to invest in your education and you have to learn everywhere and you have to never make the assumption that you know it all, you know, that all I do is learn and read. You know, I, I know what I don't Absolutely. know. I know what I don't know, you know? So I think that for me, that discipline that you're talking about is you, you not only do you demand excellence, but you want to be excellent. Like you do it for yourself, you know? And I say yeah. that with team, I can't push you to want that. You have to want that. I'll give you the tools. I'll give you the learning and all of that, but you have to inwardly want that, you know? And that's what yeah. I think as soon as has been so built on 
over the years is you consistently make sure that the people that are part of your organization want excellence. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of part of the DNA, you know, you know, it's kind of, you kind of, it's this, it's the level that you operate at, you know what I mean? It's a, and as you say, you know, the 80, the 80, 20% rule, you know, 20% of the effort at the end gets 80% of the result yeah. is absolutely part of, part of the training. You know, it's part yeah. of that, part of that. Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it just, I just think it's so important, but um, any final words, you guys, I know, again, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, this is, uh, um, I don't know. I just, I'm so excited for hairdressers to have access to this, but any final words, you guys? Yeah. I mean, we're excited too. I mean, uh, you know, like you said, we've been talking about this for about a year and I'm just really glad that we were able to bring it to fruition because again, as Mark said, we just want to share, you know, we want to mm -hmm. help. And especially during this time, there's never been yeah. a more important time for us to be able to, to share education. And so we're happy that we're able to do this through BTCU. So thank you. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. You. Yeah. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I think, you know, enjoy the, every, you know, lots of people put a lot of effort into making these, this series, you know, they're 36, seven languages, all that sort of stuff. So take advantage of it and enjoy it. I think. Yeah. I'm so excited again, you guys, in all these different languages, and um, it is live right now, so uh, we're excited. And then I know we'll be welcoming um, Mark and some of his team in on a very regular basis um, for different lives inside our BTC uh, youth subscriber base. So we're excited about okay. building a community within that as well, and look forward to seeing a lot of new faces there as well. So thank you guys so much, Mark. All the best in the UK, and uh, thank hey you. You too. Thank you. And then Debbie, congratulations on getting uh, uh, LA and California back open again. I know that you've got a lot of work on your hands to get uh, the Academy of the Salon back open again. And uh, we couldn't be more excited that uh, California is finally reopening. So everybody stay safe. And, uh, and we look forward to seeing you guys online in BTC University. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks to my team, BTC. You guys rock. You got a lot done in such a short period of time. I have the most amazing team. And I want to thank all of you guys for uh, working so hard to, to make this a special launch. So thanks, you guys. And I will see you online. Thank have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Take care.